but now I'm into strawberries just because it's very low in sugar. Sometimes, yikes. <laughs> I didn't actually see that coming, but I should have seen it coming because she said we're not having a fat in our diet. She's, oh, Yolanda, Yolanda, Yolanda. It's just a wonderful afternoon pick-me-up. No, it's not. I make okay. it easy and started with an organic chicken broth just for the flavor. Why you gotta go there? Like, I'm, I'm excited for a moment because I see vegetable soup. I'm like, we got some veggies. It's gonna be a vegetable soup. There's not gonna be any animals. Hey Frugivore, welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So today's video, we are gonna react to everything Yolanda here did, eats in a day, food diaries, Harper's Bazaar. And I don't know a lot about this woman, okay? I don't know a lot about Yolanda. I do know she is a mother of Bella and Gigi Hadid, uh, those actresses. I don't know a lot about them either, but she is a mum and apparently there is some controversy around her bringing them up in a way of uh, starving them basically into weight loss, you know, uh, teaching them how to restrict their food, food shaming them, um, basically just instilling negative eating patterns in them from an early age. And obviously if you do that, if you try to restrict your children's nutrition, you don't know a lot about nutrition, right? And you're not feeding them the correct food, the correct human frugivore nutrition. So we know that if she is trying to restrict her children's nutrition. So let's see what she eats, right? And if you want to see more of these videos, definitely vote on the video, whether it's up or down. Just do something if you want to see more of them. Let's get straight into it. Let's see what Yolanda eats. Hey, good morning. Are you ready to spend the day at the farm with me? Oh, they have a farm. I mean, that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. They could be farming animals, you know, but um, hopefully fruits and veg. You are what you eat. It's just a fact. But that doesn't mean that in my household we don't have pizzas flying around sometimes or hamburgers. You know, I have kids and they love their stuff. But I... They love their stuff. Their stuff. <laughs> it's just really bizarre after the last sentence was about hamburgers, which used to be animals, right? So it's very strange to refer to them as stuff. They love their stuff. I don't know. Anyway, but it's a real shame that she already mentioned they're eating animals. Yeah, so not surprised. I also think that as a mom, we lead by example. So I continue to do all my organic, healthy stuff. I mean, yeah. like, exactly. You lead by example if you are a mum. And it's 2021. And if you're not vegan, <laughs> if you're not a vegan mum by this point, then honestly, you're clueless. There's so much information. There's so much education um, out there that is pointing towards being vegan as optimal, right? At the very least. And obviously, fruit-based. Fruit-based is queen. Queen, queen, queen. And you can find that out just by studying basic human physiology. I like to start my morning with a glass of lemon water. Okay. So, it's so whenever these flesh eaters start their day with lemon water, they're constipated. Okay. She is backed up backed up all right and and they need this stimulation from the lemon water which it does it kind of like irritates your your intestinal environment so you know the colon releases and you get a bit of a release because they're not getting enough fiber they don't have enough bulk they don't have enough fiber in their digestive system it's very simple you take a half a lemon yeah, and we know the how. Queen to, of lemons. We know how. To. Just because they have so many health benefits, it alkalizes the uh, the gut. It's cleansing. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> like everyone's like, it alkalizes the gut. It's cleansing. Like, please, your body does the cleansing. All right. And it's very. You have to be very careful about the pH of your body. You don't want it to be too alkaline. You don't want it to be too acid. Just these people just throw around these buzz terms. This of marketing. They just regurgitate the marketing. All right. It's not super nutrition to, nutritious to have lemon. Okay. Just try to eat a lemon. All right, the lemon, your body will reject it because it's saying, no, it's too sour. But a lot of these individuals who are eating meat and dairy, um, I haven't seen this video, so I'm not sure how much she's eating, but they're not getting enough vitamin C. And this is a form of vitamin ascorbic acid. So, you know, that's another reason that they're probably drawn to it because they're not getting enough vitamin C. And it's crucial for the human frugivore to get it from dietary sources. It has a lot of nutrients in it. So it's just a great way to start your morning. A you know, I don't really drink it. coffee. I love matcha with goat milk. So I use... <laughs> Why? 
I mean, like it's 2021 and she's not having plant milks. She's drinking still from the teat of a goat. She's having goat secretion. That's a big <laughs> cross for a start. I love much. She's not a big coffee drinker, but she has matcha, which has caffeine in it. So she is essentially drinking coffee, but it's just called matcha. Okay, bad stuff. Usually do that, but always maybe like 15 minutes after I have my lemon water. Mm. Constipation. Yummy. After my lemon Yummy. water, I do <laughs> oatmeal. Just because it's easy, it's quick. Good. It really gives you great energy to get through your morning. I mean, I mean good as in it's plants. It's like a grain. That's great. But like starting the day with the wartime grains, I'm just going to tell you, I know a lot of you are probably having it and I've had it many times in my own life. It's just very, very dry, very wartime, very beige. And you are a vibrant, colorful hydrated fresh being and that's what you need first thing in the morning and you need the fruit you need the fruit meal you need there's no excuse okay there's no excuse if you're out there eating oats now no excuse you should be eating fruit fruit meal smoothie bowl um eat just whole fruit 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 especially first thing so not a fan not a fan but i'm good no you know at least it's not bacon and eggs right and then i really think that we don't have enough fat anymore in our diet <laughs> okay, so she's been listening to the marketing. She is a victim of the mainstream high fat marketing. Straight away, we know that because she's we don't have enough fat anymore in our diet. Is she for real? <laughs> Has she seen what people are eating? Has she seen the size of people? Um, obesity epidemic? Yeah, you don't think people are eating enough fat in their diet? That's a very strange statement. So I always put a little bit of organic butter with this cute little butter dish that Gigi made when she was maybe like eight. Okay, so we have a butter deficiency. We have a bovine, solidified bovine secretion deficiency in our diet as human frugivores, fruit-based animals. Strange, right? It's strange because it's marketing. It's 100% marketing lies, okay? And this makes you sick. This is a sick way to eat when you include the secretions of animals and it's very cruel to baby cow and mama cow. Look it up. Devastating. Eight years old, so. I like to put a little bit of almonds on it. Just add okay. a little protein. Then I'd like to use different fruits. Right now I'm into strawberries just because it's very low in sugar. Sometimes. Yikes. <laughs> I didn't actually see that coming, but I should have seen it coming because she said we don't have enough fat in our diet. She's, oh, Yolanda, Yolanda, Yolanda. You obviously do not know what is going on and you're at the age where you should. You know, our parents, our elders should get it by now. They've lived longer, right? They should get it. And she has access to the internet, but She's obviously looking in the wrong corner of the internet, but she is old enough to know better. It's a very small serve. Like, what is this? Like, that's not going to be satisfying. And that's why she, and not enough fiber either. You know, that's why people need the coffee, the matcha, and then you need lemon water to poop. I put organic honey, but then I also like to use stevia. And so, that's, okay, so she uses stevia and she uses organic honey instead of fruit. That's never better. Okay. She's, she doesn't want to eat too much fruit because of the sugar, okay, but she, she'll have honey. Somehow, honey, which is sweeter because it's more condensed, it's more um, concentrated than fruit in sugar, is better than the fruit sugar. And then she's having, she's having stevia because she doesn't want to have too much sugar. Don't restrict your fruit intake. Ser seriously, Yolanda, check out the Rotor 4 Lifestyle. Check out these books. You never have to restrict your food intake ever again. Okay, never, never again. We have got 30 day meal planner. There are photos everywhere, every single day. You get a meal planner. You get um, all over 55 color recipes. Beautiful, beautiful recipes. Ch check this book out. It has rave reviews and it's going to change your life if you actually follow the instructions in this in, the, in this video in this book okay raw to four lifestyle yolanda get your, your daughters on it as well get on it you won't have to restrict anymore like you are and be scared of sugar because you are a high sugar being you meant to have a lot of sugar right and this one is this is the ultimate lifestyle um this is my go fruit yourself book this is a frugivore diet basically outlined in this book and um 
the physical book will be available very, very soon. Um, you can get my ebook, so. And I definitely recommend this for you and your daughters, Yolanda. Get onto it. My Naked Lunchbox, okay? All about female emp empowerment. It's getting rave reviews as well. And you can get all my books. You can get all of my life's work. These are thick books, okay? You can download the eBooks instantly right now. The link is in the description below. And get on the lifestyle. Start getting the results you desire. I'm like 14 years into this lifestyle. My weight hasn't changed basically in over a decade. I've been this slim the whole time. Healthy, slim, excellent blood test results. The proof is in the banana pudding. So check it out. The link is in the description below to the eBooks and you can get them instantly. If you can get used to the taste, I think it's a much better and healthier choice than white sugar. But just have more fruit. <laughs> you are literally having like a strawberry. As a frugivore, as a fruit-based animal, you are starving yourself of your optimal human nutrition and instead you're having stevia which obviously is better than these other artificial sweeteners but it is just um, tricking your body into thinking that sugar is coming but then it gets down to the small intestine there's no sugar coming over and the brain is like huh well, we you know just like puts out the signal for more sugar and then these individuals go and binge out they take weight loss drugs they get the liposuction they get a whole lot of surgery and you don't even know okay and you're like well she's slim you know it's working for her no 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 a lot of lies there you know i really love breakfast there's something about it it's a moment where i you know give gratitude to my beautiful life and having this amazing food, organic food in front of me. It doesn't look like she loves breakfast. It looks sad to me. Small, low in sugar. But that doesn't that's not in, that's not fun for me. That is not enjoyment. But it's awesome that she gives thanks. I, I agree. I think it's a wonderful time of day on rising. Um to have a lot of fruit, you know, that is what is exciting. I love that. I I just love just stuffing it in, you know. And you know, I love looking outside, seeing the cows, the geese, and just you know, the connection with nature. I also oh no, I know why the cows and the geese are there, right? She's probably my top is like falling off here. Um, the, I'm guessing the cows are stealing the cows' milk, most likely, and maybe they even, you know, the cow, I don't know. Um, I'm sure she doesn't do it herself, right? And the, the eggs probably from the geese, maybe. It's important to take your time to eat breakfast. You know, you can do it in 10 minutes. It doesn't need to be an hour. But just this moment where you just check yeah. in with yourself your present. before you start your day. Yeah, I think that's great advice. I think it's great advice. Check in with yourself, be present in that moment. It helps digestion. Um, just, yeah, eat the right food is more important though. So for lunch, I always like to have a salad and a, some sort of protein. Today, I'm gonna do a arugula salad. I'd like to make a curry chicken with mm. some grapes in it, some onions to just boil the organic chicken and put the curry. Just leave the chickens alone. Boiled organic dead bird. Delicious, right? The muscle tissue and fat from a dead bird. <laughs> as a frugivore how bad does that really sound think about it how wrong is that for our human frugivore body okay so we're seeing a carb deficit here right especially sweet fruit it's a salad there's not a lot of carbohydrates here not a lot of fructose that's for sure she's she's clearly fructose deficient curry and mayo and onions and celery and all that stuff I do like it on top of my arugula salad. This combination of Brussels sprouts, some cranberries, a little bit of that on it. And then just a little bit of dressing that I made with olive oil, honey, a little vinegar. You can see that she restricts herself as well. And this is why she imposed her ED on her children. You know, because she has a restrictive lifestyle, because she's eating foods that are meant to go in the human frugivore. So in order to stay slimmer, she has to restrict it. Um, and then she, she teaches that to her, her kids and then they teach it to their kids and just passes on. And it's very unfortunate, okay, because these individuals, you know, they've got the raw honey there. It's like, you're not eating enough fruit. You need to make that connection, okay? That is what is happening. It's something like over 5 million individuals die every single year. Humans, every single year from not eating enough fruit. It's one of the leading causes of death of the human fruit of all population, all right? So, and... She obviously hasn't educated herself on that and she is eating in this strange way.
Um, so I'm really loving going to the farmer's market and see what's available I love in this too. season and use that in my kitchen. Final little bit of salt and pepper. And that to me is just like the perfect lunch. Yeah, you need more. You need more. There's yeah, some root vegetable there, but not a lot, okay? There's not a lot of carbohydrate going on here and not a lot of fructose, that's for sure. So my favorite afternoon little snack, like a little pick-me-up, is a goat milk, which oh, I God. use preferably because it's so much easier to digest than regular milk. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and no, it's not. Okay, I used to have a bit of a goat's cheese obsession and damn, that made me feel terrible. Okay, obviously, <laughs> when before I was vegan um, a long time ago, and I would just eat like a block of it, and it was just terrible. My skin would break out. It was really, really bad. Leave the goats alone. Leave their teats alone. Seriously, stop handling them like that. It's creepy. It's weird. Get your hands off them. All right. And you just boil a cup. I'm obsessed with cardamom and. Sorry, I'm, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I know most of you don't do that. I'm talking to her, right? And I boil that, stir it. It's just a wonderful, she's little. I have a, I have Ayurvedic sort of feelings here. I have a little bit Indian kind of. She probably has ghee and stuff. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it, but like goat's milk, cardamom, cinnamon. There are some kind of like flavors coming up, and you know, kind of. I don't know. Something feels a little bit Indian inspired here. Afternoon pick me up. And How's then I sweeten it. How's that a pick me up? Seriously, that doesn't pick you up. That puts you down. She sweetens it. It with honey. <laughs> She's so fruit sweet fruit deficient, right? She's really restricting herself, this woman, and um, as a result, she is getting addicted to honey, which is not going to be great for your teeth. Okay, it's not great for the bees. Um, their, their honey is stolen and it's replaced with white sugar. The queen bee is, um, she has her wings removed. Uh, it's just a lot of exploitation, right? Love it. We use cardamom in lemon cake. We use cardamom in goat milk. And my kids love it because their grandmother in the Arab kitchen, they use a lot of cardamom, so they kind of learned it there. Okay, so it's an Arabic kind of inspired thing. All right, but look, it doesn't matter what culture it comes from. You're still wrong if you're, you're drinking the secretion from an animal. And I don't care whether you come from an Arab country or, you know, Asia or whatever, whatever, Sweden. It's still wrong. It's still wrong however you look at it. It's just a wonderful afternoon pick-me-up. No, it's not. So I like to make my dinner my lightest meal of the day. Only because... But I mean, all your meals have been light. <laughs> They've been so light. And, you know, this is why, you know, she would continue to struggle with her weight. She probably gets the lipo um, or she just restricts, restricts and has the coffee instead, has a matcha. You know, like, she needs more actual nutrition. This isn't enough. I go to sleep very early, so it That's doesn't good. give you much time to digest anything else. Me too. So I love to do any kind of soup. I make it easy and started with an organic chicken broth just for the flavor. Why you gotta go there? Like, I'm, I'm excited for a moment because I see vegetable soup. I'm like, we got some veggies. It's gonna be a vegetable soup. There's not gonna be any animals. And then she's gotta put the chicken broth in. She's gotta put the dead bird essence in the veggie soup. Like, it just blows my mind. Why do, why do people have to always include, you know, these They'll call it like protein. She probably thinks she's getting protein from the broth or something. It's just, no. You know, you can obviously, you can put in your vegetable juice, whatever you like. I love, you know, putting chopped garlic. I put my chopped carrots, onions, okay. of course. I mean, best thing to flavor. See the amount of calories in that. I mean, you can see the foods, carrots, onions, celery, zucchini. There's not a lot of real substance. Vegetables are great, don't get me wrong, but you really got to pack it in. If you want to make a meal of veggies, you got to have a lot. Or else you're just going to end up binging out. You're going to end up having lemon water because you're constipated. You're going to end up having coffee because you don't have or much because you don't have enough energy. Um, you're going to be vitamin C deficient, you know, because she's cooking everything. When you cook it, you destroy the vitamin C, which is very important for the human frugivore. Great minerals in there. So this is Bragg's natural yeast, and I love the flavor of that. Wow, 
That's a lot of yeast. That is a lot. Seriously, that stuff bloats me so much. I am not approving of Bragg's of anything really. And the um, Bragg's aminos, don't use that. Okay, it's basically made through a chemical experiment. It's like this chemical reaction that creates this saltiness. It's... It is really dodgy. If you actually do some real re research about it, I did, but I'll, I'll talk about another video, but don't have that stuff. No, it's not healthy. Okay, so that's the video for today. I don't think Yolanda is going to have anything else, but she probably went and binged on chocolate after the camera was off, okay? Because that's what happens with individuals like this who don't educate themselves on optimal human nutrition and just our basic human physiology as frugivores. We need a lot of fruit, we need a lot of vitamin C, we need a lot of bulk in our colon, in our digestive system in general, okay? That's how we work best. We need the energy from carbohydrates, from sugar, not from stevia or from honey, okay? You know, you're going to go to the honey if you're not getting enough fruit, all right? And it's not optimal, okay? We need fiber. Fiber is very important. So it's a real shame that she has passed on this kind of deprivation mentality onto her daughters. Hopefully they don't pass it on. So just let them know I made this video. Let the whole family know I made this video and it's really going to help them make the connection, you know? So anyway, don't forget to go fruit yourself. You're Lander. You need to go fruit yourself, sister. You need to just give up this sugar phobia, which is ridiculous as a human frugivore. Seriously. All right. I'll see you soon.